Howdy everybody, welcome, happy day to you. I wanted to kind of do a continuation of my weekly reset video today and talk about outfit planning and just setting myself up for success where I may. And over the last, I mean forever, I always love doing these videos. New in clothing, seasonal switch ups, outfit plannings. I love the seven days, seven looks videos that Vogue does. And I also saw Anna, AKA to Anna Edit's recent video where she talked about her seven uniform outfits. And I just loved that. And I feel like I always try to do that. I always end up wearing the same things anyway, but to kind of make more of an effort in doing that in my weekly life and as part of like my weekly reset, just to make sure that I'm always good to go because I'm such a scatterbrained individual. Truly, I it's so hard for me to just get it together. And one of those things is just always getting dressed. It always has been, I'm a broken record. I've been talking about that forever. And I think it was so helpful really trying to like pin my style and my comforts down. And part of that was when I had my two sessions with Alison Bornstein, the stylist, and it was just super nice having her kind of go through some of my most favorite and most worn things and putting together essentially some of my like daily uniforms. But I wanted to continue that. And I thought it would be fun to just make this an official frequented thing that we do here together. Keep the house clean, keep the closet clean, and also set up my outfits for the week. So kind of just going to be a couple of different parts in today's video. So buckle up, sit tight, my friends. I want to start with showing you a few things that I have purchased actually since my little styling session with Allison, because I left the two sessions with a list. She actually emailed me. She emailed me some links with some things there's some things that are on my wish list, a few of the like basic pieces that I was missing in my wardrobe. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping. So I wanted to start by showing you what's new in first. Before we get into the actual pieces itself, I wanted to show you something that I updated in my closet. These hangers, got these hangers on Amazon. I have like gold metal hangers that I've had for a long time. And these are the hangers that I use. And I was just really actually getting frustrated with the organization of my pants. I just needed a better system. And I thought that buying like official pant hangers would really help me to also like see my wardrobe, be able to see what I'm wearing and using, have a visual of them lined up in my closet. So I have changed my pants. They are now all hanging on pant hangers and I can see what I have. And that's so helpful because before they were just like folded over on the hangers and all clumped together and I couldn't, I don't know. This is just visually, this is so much more pleasing and it'll help when we discuss the next part of the reset later on. But anyway, one of the first things that I wanted Allison to help me find was a, a good travel outfit. And that can just be also like everyday comfortable wear. I felt like I was missing some nice pants. <laughs> I wanted something in between like a dress pant and a sweat pant, which would be like the two opposite ends of the spectrum that I wear when I'm on a plane or having a travel day. I wanted something that could be nice and flowy, comfortable, but still look chic and put together. Basically, I wanted a chic airport outfit and that's it. So um, she actually sent me a lot of different options for kind of like satiny, silky pants. Some of them were very, very expensive. So I landed in the middle with these ones. These are a lovely pair of satin pants from Enza Costa. I bought them on Revolve and they also have a white pair, which I was considering, but I thought realistically, I'm not gonna wear white pants on a plane. <laughs> I thought the safer option was black. So I ended up buying these black satin pants, which I am thrilled about. And even though the intention was to have like a travel outfit, this could also have a huge impact in my daily outfits. So I was really excited about those. Then in that same line, I've really been, you know, just, I've been kind of grumpy actually with the whole lack of white pants. What I, what I want is a pair of like wool or wool blend white pants that just look fabulous every day, but aren't too dressy, but are a little bit more casual. That brand Enza Costa actually has a pair of cotton ones, but they're completely see-through. I bought them and returned them immediately. But I wanted easy breezy, cool, everyday pants. And so I actually bought the Reformation ones. They're a drawstring linen pant, and these are perfect for every day, especially in the summertime. These are gonna be amazing for travel. They go with everything. I've already worn them so much, and I'm definitely gonna be incorporating this into my weekly wardrobe, uniform, outfit planning. In a perfect world, I would have these like linen versions for summer and obviously like hot weather destinations, but I want this in a fabric that doesn't wrinkle as another option. That would be my dream. I don't even know if that exists. If you guys know of any pairs, that's kind of my dream, but these are perfect. And what I like about these, I've always had like white linen pants in the past, but they never survive. Pairs that I've had from Zara always end up getting completely destroyed in the wash. Even if I follow all the care instructions perfectly, they shrink really badly. I've been so pleasantly surprised with these. They've already washed so well multiple times and they're nice and thick and the quality is beautiful. So those are kind of like, those are some updates in the pants <laughs> department. Those are a few things that I picked up. Speaking of Reformation, actually, I've already worn this. You guys have seen it if you follow me on the gram and whatnot, but I actually also 
bought this skirt from Reformation and I've been loving the maxi skirts. I'm obsessed. And I saw this when I was on the hunt for the linen pants and it's a linen maxi skirt. And I just thought the stripes, like this is something that still so perfectly fits into all of the neutrals in my wardrobe, but adds a little bit of spice with the pattern and it's super comfortable, very easy breezy and long. I think I would have preferred if the slit was at the back because it kind of flaps around awkwardly if you're doing long walks, but if you're just simply existing in it and going for brunch and you know not doing too much intensive speed walking then it's fine and I just thought that was such a fun pop to add into the closet and I love it. Another piece that I bought that I haven't actually tried on yet we'll try it on together later uh, are these white shorts and this was from watching a Lydia video love all her outfit videos she's so helpful and fabulous and she actually did a collaboration with Naked Fashion and I had tried to get these before they were out of stock I don't know if they just randomly came back in stock for a hot sec or what but I pounced when I saw them in stock because I was like, yes. Again, you guys know one of my main struggles is finding true white pieces of clothing. Everything's always off-white or cream or ivory or ecru vanilla. Like each just, I just want some white pants and I wanted a white sweater. You know, it's hard to find. So I was very happy when I saw that these were actual white shorts. They are going to be see-through, which is not the most ideal, but I think they'll be nice and breezy for summer wear and Lydia. You done it again. I also wanted to mention a pair of shoes that I picked up and I've again already worn these so much since I got them, but basically this is my answer to the ballet flat trend. And I got the loafers and Allison helped me style those so beautifully, but there was still, I still wanted something daintier. And basically like when it actually came to my discussions with Allison and she raves about the Chanel pumps, which I love and I have them in the black. And then on her recommendation, I also bought the beige ones. I bought the nude ones and I think that's gonna be perfect. But I kind of wanted the same idea, the same look, the same style, but in a flat version. Cause I'm not gonna go walk around my everyday life in these. I would love to believe that I'm a heels gal for all day, but even though these are super comfortable, if I'm going downtown and I need to walk between like appointments and meetings or something, like I'm not doing a long walking day in these. So I wanted this in flat version. And obviously they do come in a flat version, but am I really gonna drop that kind of coin on the flats? I just wanted to see if I could find another option, even though I do think that these are so beautiful in the flats version maybe someday down the line I'll get those. Anyway, I just wanted to see if I could find something else. So I actually ended up buying these flats from Flattered and it's kind of that same idea. You're still getting the top of the foot. Like we learned from Allison is what we want to see if we're wearing pants and whatnot. You wanna have a little bit of the top of the foot showing um, and it has the point, it has the elongated toe and it also has a little bit of a heel. So this is what I wanted in a flat. They're sleek, they're chic, they're black, they'll go with everything. It gives me that same vibe, but way more comfortable for long strolling. So I'm so happy with these. And kind of just as I've been thinking about this over the last few weeks since having those styling sessions, again, I'm really feeling like I'm finding my flow and what I like to wear. And that is the same things over and over again. But for example, like my Skims t-shirt and my H&M baggy jeans, like this is an outfit that I wear over and over again, instead of wearing sneakers and feeling a little bit frumpy. And if I don't have the option to wear heels, like this is something that I can wear with an outfit like this to just make it feel a little bit more put together. But because it's not like a chunky loafer, it's not a chunky sneaker. I'm just feeling a little bit more feminine, a little bit more chic, a little bit more dressed up. So I'll just show you guys what these look like. I'm so happy that they fit and that they worked. And I think they're so cute and <laughs> never thought I'd consider myself a flats gal, but here we are. So I'm just switching over to the, the phone cam for a sec so you guys can see what I mean. Like this is literally my daily uniform. This is an outfit that I wear every single day, but I just wanted a little something more casual, walkable, in a way that makes the outfit feel a little bit more chic and put together, but still comfortable for everyday wear. So I'm so happy with this. And again, like I get so many questions. I've been getting so many questions about my jeans recently. You guys know I wear the same ones. I bought the H&M high rise, 90s, baggy, loose, whatever. The name has changed multiple times, but I have them in four colors. I have this light blue, I have a dark blue, I have black and I have white. And those are my most worn jeans. They don't look great in video and in photos, but in person, they're just the casual, loose, cool girl jeans. I'm so comfortable in them, they're stretchy. I just love them so much. So for the most part, if you ever see me in baggy jeans, it's going to be these H&M jeans. And yeah, I just love this. I think this is really cool. I think these shoes just added so much to my daily uniform life. So those are the new in flats. 
I love them. So speaking of jeans, one of the things that I'd mentioned in my last video where I had the styling session with Allison, one of the items that she went on the hunt for for me was just finding more jeans that are like this, but a little bit <laughs> more sleek. So hopefully something that would photograph better, but give me that same nice, straight shape. So she had actually gone and linked a ton of these Silver Lake jeans, which I'd seen so much about. They're really expensive. Honestly, they're like shockingly expensive for jeans, but it's the Silver Lake London jeans specifically. And I actually got these on net a -Porte. They fit beautifully. They were true to size for me. I got a 27. I really love the wash. It's kind of basically the idea of a vintage Levi's 501, that style of jeans that I've always wanted, but uh, they don't fit me. <laughs> so that's a new and pair, new style that I've added as per Allison's shopping suggestions. Now I wanted to get into the planning the outfits. <laughs> my goal when I think of my weekly reset is to just have it all laid out. Look at my calendar. What am I doing this week? What do I need outfits for? What meetings do I have? What events do I have going on? Can we please finally start getting dressed even if I'm at home and not living in my sweatpants all day? I'd love to have them all set out, take the thinking away throughout the week, but then also prepare them because especially in the summertime when I'm wearing a lot of linen, something that prevents me from wearing like a cute outfit that I might have planned to wear is that I haven't steamed them. It's wrinkly. Oh my gosh, it's stained. I forgot to wash this, blah, blah, blah. Like I just wanna have everything ready to go. So I've also brought out my steamer. This is like my very official steamer. This was my birthday gift from Dan a few years back. Absolutely brilliant. And that was also him screaming at me to stop living with my wrinkly ways and have my clothes ready to go. So basically all I've done is pulled out the things that are new in and also some of the things that I wear all the time, like my lovely little totem tank tops, my Zara linen shirts, a Goldie Rianne body suits. Honestly, I do need a new white one. It's getting pretty gross. I wear it constantly. Also my dish little vest. Can we just have a moment for this? I've just, I've been wearing this so much. I just love it. I feel so good in this. I feel so put together no matter what I'm wearing on the bottom, a skirt, a denim skirt, a matching skirt, jeans, trousers, like what Whatever. I just feel so put together in this. I love this. If I could find like a white vest like this, wooden wool, something that wouldn't wrinkle to have for winter too. Oh my God, like that is, consider me on the hunt for that. But I've been getting so much wear and love out of this. And I just feel like that's really been my uniform. T-shirt, that, tank top, like just easy breezy neutrals. I also have my jeans sitting here and I kind of just want to put together some outfits and have them set and ready to go. So I had pulled out a few things that I wear. My constants, my always, as per Allison's words. I got to clip the mic for this one, guys. Sorry, I need two hands. Does it work on the t-shirt? That probably looks hilarious. Ah oh, well. Okay, well we'll start with this one. I'm honestly so happy with this. I can swap out the jeans and I can swap out the t-shirt for whatever different color. Um, and then also my Nilly Low 10 belt. Most worn, used, loved belt on the planet. H&M actually just came out with like super affordable, complete dupes. Um, and they also came out with all the different colors, which is so nice. I'll link those below. But yeah, just a belt and then like my go-to jewelry. It just makes me feel put together no matter what. Adding the flats, but I can also swap it out for any of my sandals. Another thing that I really wanted to make more of an effort to where I mentioned this. I think it was my, did I talk about this in my recent uh, Lux purchases update? Probably, but my blue Hermes sandals, I bought these so long ago and I never wear them. And it's because I always just opted for my more neutral black flip flops. When I can just take my neutral outfits that I already wear, like I already wear so much black and white. <laughs> I can try and spice it up and add a little bit more fun pops of color. So to be better about wearing the accessories that I have and adding some fun pops of color in, it's so neutral. Another thing that I wanted to mention actually, I have been doing the most like thorough purge of my closet and I have been posting so much on my Depop and getting rid of things that I've been holding onto for a long time, things that don't fit me anymore and things that just really don't fit my very, very condensed style. I think I'm really, we're getting there. Style always changes. I think you can always look back and be like, damn, I can't believe I wore that. And I always feel that, but maybe it's the turning 30 in me, but I think I'm just having a really good wave and I'm feeling very comfortable in my style. And more than ever, I'm being able to pinpoint what doesn't fit in my wardrobe. And just in terms of color as well, like this Frankie shop shirt <laughs> is one of the pieces that I kept, like I would, take pictures of it, I'd post it on my Depop, I would take it off and I'd be like, no, I wanna keep it. I just couldn't decide on a few things and this shirt was one of them. And I went to wear it the other day and I'm like, I just, no, this color just doesn't look good on me. It's a shade that just doesn't work. I don't know, I have this other darker green shirt that suits my skin and my colors much more. And then I also have this striped one, perfect. I feel like I'm forcing this one on myself. And that's kind of the same with this one actually, this shade of pink. 
Every time I wear it, it just feels like it's slightly off. It's slightly wrong. And I need to stop being in denial and just ditch it. I don't wear them. Every time I do wear them, I feel like something's wrong or off or like it, the outfit could be better. So I just need to accept the fact that they don't work. And stick with the stuff I know. For example, my little lovely little H&M light blue shirt. I love this. I feel amazing every time I wear it. I think it complements all the outfits that I put it with. That like shade of blue I just love so much. And I just need to accept that these don't work. So guys, I'm going to link my Depop below because I have so much posted for sale. It's insane. The closet purge has been real. And I need to also make note to add these. <laughs> So we gotta talk about the outfits. I gotta try these on, put some outfits together. I just put these shorts on, they fit perfectly. And they're actually really soft because it's it's linen look-alike. It's not actual linen. I think it's just cotton shorts, but they're really, really soft and comfy. Definitely need to steam. I should probably invest in an iron, but here we are. Anyway, in the summertime, I don't often love shorts on me. I never opt for shorts. I will always go for a long flowy pant or a skirt or anything, anything other than shorts. I never wear my shorts. I have denim shorts that I only wear if I simply must or if I'm like not taking pictures, whatever. And I'd love to change that. I'd love to just find some go-to outfits, including shorts that I love. And the main problem is just, <laughs> it's a personal thing, but my crinkle toes really throw me off. I have hammer toes. The hammer toes and the crinkling and then the size of my feet in comparison to my legs just always look off for me that's why with the flats I'm like I need something with a long toe it needs to be pointy elongating it just proportionally and visually I've just always felt weird when my feet are exposed so let's try to just switch that up today let's try to style these white shorts so this is where I've landed with the white shorts. I have my Fendi sandals on, but I just, right now I feel like this would look so much better if I just had white pants on. It would just feel more elevated to me, but also sometimes you just need to wear a pair of shorts. So what I would love, and I, I said this to Allison too, and I have yet to find the perfect pair, but what I would love is to have sandals that are kind of in a similar color to my little Banana Republic braided belt here. Just something that's kind of like an in-between, the white and the brown. A nice little taupe, a nice little soft sand colored sandal like this, but just a little bit lighter. And even though, even though we now know that you don't have to match, you don't have to match your accessories, you don't have to have your belt and your shoes matching, this to me, just for my visual, the shoes are too dark. I know it looks fine and this is totally fine, but this will do. And if it's extra hot, I can just take the shirt off or I can also wear this with my a goldie bodysuit to have a little bit of a higher neck with it but I think I like this combo of just the white on white. I can also switch this out for the black tank top and a black belt and then wear my black flip flops. But yeah, I just don't always love my shoe options, but I also think that these shorts are the perfect length where it's not too long that it looks awkward and it's not too short where everything's riding up. So I love the length of these shorts and I think that's great. I was really trying to make an effort to switch up from the black and white, but I just, I felt like this was right. So I put my black linen shirt on my Lily Low Tan belt and the black sandals. And I'm like, yes, okay, that's it. Like this is such a difference, such a stark contrast in my opinion to how the first option looked. The other one was giving like chillin' summer teacher. This is giving like chic teacher. Yeah, I just feel so much better, so much more comfortable in this. And I still have my tank top underneath. So if I do wanna take it off, then I can just have the white on white. But I think the black accessories just for myself feel so much better and much more comfortable and much more chic. And this is the option that's going in. So this is the next uniform that we're working with. And I've already posted this on Instagram. I have been wearing this pretty much every day because I bought these pants and I was like, wow, this is the perfect me comfortable but still chic outfit that I can wear to absolutely anything. And then you also have endless layering possibilities and that is just black on black. So this is my Goldie Rianne bodysuit that I wear obviously endlessly. These are the new Reformation linen pants, which again, I just love so much because it's casual, it's comfortable, it's like you're wearing sweatpants, but they're linen, they're breezy, they're summery, they're perfect, and it still just looks so put together. I love a black on black, and I think I would have just tried to overcomplicate this. I would have thought like, oh, this isn't thoughtful enough, this isn't funky enough, but like, but I just need to stop that and accept the fact that you cannot go wrong with an all black outfit. And I paired this with my flip-flops, my little tiki's flip-flops and I think that's great. If it was something fancier, I could put on heels. I can also wear this with sneakers, but just for summer vibes, I think the flip-flops is the way to go. I can wear any bag. I can layer up any jacket, denim jacket, cardigan, sweater, whatever. Just having this as a base, this is perfect for an everyday uniform. And I just feel great in it. And that's what matters. However, I would just like to note that the only tragedy with these pants is that there's no pockets. Reformation, why would you do this to us? There's no pockets in these pants. That's so sad. <laughs> 
Now in terms of planning outfits, this is technically cheating because I've actually already worn this outfit. I wore this exact outfit for a meeting, but I don't care because I wanna keep wearing it. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. This is the cute little t-shirt that I got in the Vive PR. And I paired this with the Reformation skirt, my black belt and flip flops. Do you see what I mean where I feel like it's not the most flattering thing having the slit on the front? I do wish it was on the back. I would have preferred that, but I think it's still so chic and so cool. Such a fun way to spice up what would otherwise be jeans or just plain whatever. And then this lovely little yellow bag, which I love so much. How fun is this little pop of color? But equally, if I did not want to have a pop of color, if I just wanted to keep it plain, the black bodysuit, my white bodysuit, like everything can be switched up for this. Just having a fun little different texture in the pattern of the skirt, I think just makes it feel so much more exciting for my summer dressing. So love this outfit, love how it all pairs together with some fun pops of color in the accessories too. And this is definitely gonna be at least like this combo of the skirt and belt can be paired with absolutely everything in my wardrobe. So consider this a summer uniform. This is another outfit uniform that is technically also cheating because I've already worn it so much. <laughs> but I also wanted to show you the fit of the Silver Lake jeans. So these are the Silver Lake London jeans. They still have that like baggy casual feel, but they're just a little bit more sleek, a little bit more chic than my ultra, ultra baggy H&M ones. And I love the wash. It's that really beautiful, like vintage vibe. Just love it. They fit really nicely. And then this is my dish linen vest, which I am just obsessed with. I can't get enough of this. Let me put the belt on because this is feeling wrong. If, listen, if I'm gonna tuck in the vest, <laughs> the belt needs to be on. I think that makes such a difference. And I could also wear it without the belt and not tucking it in. And I just love how easy this outfit is. Obviously any shoe, the flats, the heels, the flip flops, anything works, any bag works. I can either do something neutral or pop a color and I can do my hair anyway in this outfit, which I love. So this has been such a comfortable, easy outfit. I can also switch out the vest for any tank tops or t-shirts and it's just a uniform that's simple. <laughs> Jeans and a t-shirt, whoa, whoa, whoa. But this is all just adding on to and going along with my not wanting to overcomplicate my outfits and just wearing what I feel amazing in, no matter how simple that might be. I wanted to quickly touch on event dressing. Now that could be like a special event, a summer soiree, meetings, whatever you want it to be like a little bit more dressed up for. Now for me, that's another category that I tend to over complicate a lot. And I think especially in the summertime when things can remain light and breezy and you can forever just rewear your neutrals over and over again, finding a good matching set is just one of my favorite ways to dress for an event. So this particular little set, listen, I feel like this particular angle isn't doing it justice, but this little matching set that I bought from Dish earlier this year, I just love so much. And it's one of my favorite matching sets that I've ever bought. I think the, the cut of the top just makes it feel so extra chic. The long skirt is so nice and you can separate the pieces wear them with other things. Like you could wear this top with a pair of jeans. You could wear the skirt with a tank top to make it feel more casual, but wearing them together, having a matching set is just one of my favorite ways to dress up for an event. So just having one of these on hand, ready to go for any upcoming event or something that you just need to be a little bit more dressed up for. Or if you just, maybe you're having brunch with the gals and you just want to feel a little bit extra fancy, just have a neutral matching set and it'll cover you for all of those things. The mic is holding my shirt down right now, which is actually ideal. Um, anyway, this is the other set that I wanted to show you. Technically, I should have included this as part of the haul, my bad, but I bought this set from Banana Republic because I was obsessed and it just, it felt like the epitome of how I want to be dressing going into my 30s. Like I just wanna be a chic, classy lady always. And I think this is something that could be styled very differently depending on the shoes and the accessories that you wear with it. I think it's like oversized, casual, undone, very much like in the realm of my style descriptive words. But at the same time, it could be like very, very elegant and old school if you so wish. So I thought this would be a really fun way to style up my little blue sandals, pair it with a fun bag, or I can wear it with flip flops, I can wear it with heels. Like this is such a versatile set. And the skirt has pockets, blessed be. And it's just so breezy and comfortable and cropped and cool. And I just, yeah, it needs a good seam, but I love this set. And it's gonna be one of those that I just keep in my closet and I'm gonna wear it over and over again to my more dressed up things, but I can also wear it casually. So absolutely consider this a new summer uniform. It wouldn't be an outfits video for me if I didn't include a blazer. So this is actually a blazer that I picked up a while ago from the Claire Rose and Naked collection, but I hadn't styled it yet. And then I thought to myself, oh my gosh, it has blue in it. Why don't I wear it with these little blue sandals? How perfect. Pair it with my little tank top and my baggy H&M casual jeans. 
love this. This is a very me outfit. I actually don't even think that this one needs a belt. I think I just like it kind of hanging loose like this, but very cool, very cozy. You can wear it with or without the blazer. This is essentially just styling up my usual tank top and jeans uniform anyway, but just kind of pre-planning the pairing of the layer and my shoes and accessories and whatnot. And I think it's a fun way to add a very subtle pop of color and wear a blazer if it's a cooler day or evening and I want to be comfy and yeah, love this, very me. Okay, I'm done getting naked with you for a bit. I just uh, took everything off. I hung everything up and just placed them in order of like how we tried them on in terms of the uniforms and whatnot. I added a couple other pieces that I already had sitting out and then obviously just the other shades of my go-to things. I feel like we have a good base of the uniform. Tank top pants, t-shirt pants, skirts, some matching sets, you get the gist. The only other thing I'd like to do now is just add in a couple different pops of color. So like I mentioned, my favorite pops of color would be things like my blue H&M shirt, which can just be added on and layered up onto any of the other uniform bases. Then I also have this lovely green and white striped shirt from Frankie Shop. Another nice little variation of the neutral shades to add some colors. We've really got a theme here, but that's kind of great. If I were building a summer capsule wardrobe, this is it. <laughs> and then I'd also probably just add like my black blazer if I wanted to add another neutral layering option. And I think that's great. Now, obviously this doesn't include like my knitwear and cardigans and things. Obviously I can just wear those throughout, but the reason why I am making a point to hang all of these is because a huge part of this is going to be the preparation of the clothing. Like I said, now I need to go through, make sure that everything is clean and steamed and actually ready to wear because a lot of this, like even my white t-shirt, if I were to go and throw my white t-shirt on, it's so wrinkly. <laughs> this needs help. My little vest, so wrinkly. The linen pants, wrinkly. Skirt, wrinkly. Like I need to actually go through and seam all of these and make sure that they are ready to wear. 12,000 years later. I got through the steaming. I've come to realize, I think for certain things, like even that little cotton set, I think I need an iron. That might be the next uh, step in my adulthood that I consider. But everything is steamed, ready to go. My outfits are laid out. The jeans are stacked, the shoes are here. I've got my belts ready to go. We are ready. The outfits are prepped and I am so thrilled to be adding this officially to my weekly reset routine just to make sure that everything is steamed, smooth, wrinkle-free, all that good stuff. Oh, that felt good. It's also a fabulous practice for me personally where I struggle with putting my outfits together to actually put things on my body and not be lazy about it and be like, mm, yeah, this isn't working. That is working. This is what I wanna wear, blah, blah, blah. It's a good way to see what you have, to wear what you have. And I just feel so much better, truly. I feel so much better and so much more prepared. So take this as a sign, my friends, plan your outfits and steam your clothes. <laughs> Let us all enter a wrinkle-free journey together, shall we? Uh, my friends, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any other weekly reset and outfit prepping tips are great greatly appreciated and being accepted in the comments down below. So I'll see you there and see you very soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.